How to play Tonk. Tonk or Tunk is a fast-moving card game that's pretty easy to learn. First, you need the right number of players and cards. From there, you need to agree to stakes and decide who deals first to get started. Once you start playing a hand, you have an immediate chance to win if your cards equal a Tonk. Otherwise, there are a number of different ways that you can win if you need to play the hand further. Organizing your game. Gather enough people to play. At the very least, find one other person to play you in a one-on-one -on -one contest. If more people are available, include up to five others in a game, for a total of six players. Make sure your deck is full. Either use a brand new pack fresh out of its wrapping, or double-check your old one to confirm that all cards are there. Either way, make sure you're starting off with all 52 cards that make up a standard deck. 4. Suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts and spades. 13 cards per suit, ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, and king. Discard the jokers. Expect a standard 52-card deck to also include two jokers. However, you won't need these to play tonk. Weed them out from the deck and set them aside before you begin. Settle on the stakes if gambling. If you're playing for money, establish what the stakes will be for each hand played per game before the game begins. Expect one game to include at least a few hands. Also bear in mind that stakes can be doubled during each game, so take that into account before agreeing to the basic stake played per hand. Cut cards to settle on who deals first. Have each player draw one card from the deck. Then lay your cards out on the table. Assign the first deal to whoever has the highest card. Aces vary between being the highest and lowest card from game to game. In Tonk, however, aces are always the lowest. Deal the first hand. When dealing, give each player five cards. Keep them facing down so no one can see each other's cards. Deal each card individually so you don't accidentally deal more cards than intended to any one player. Five cards per player isn't a hard and fast rule. Some people deal as little as three, while others go with seven or even as many as twelve. Feel free to adjust the amount however you see fit. Eight. 